What's up guys, Chicks there from Chicks Tech Reviews. So here is a brand new powerful electric scooter by Furo Systems and this model is called the Fuse Max and it is their top spec electric scooter. Now everything about this scooter from the design aesthetics to the actual performance can be described in one word and that is power. And the price for this top spec model is 799. This scooter will give you power, range, comfort and an incredible anti-theft security alarm system with key fobs included. And when you arm the scooter's alarm, if anybody touches the scooter, a loud siren goes off. Also, if they try to switch the scooter on, the motor will also be locked. So they're not going to get far with your scooter until of course you unlock it with the remote. So very good anti-theft security system included. Now talking about power, you have a 750 watt motor and this scooter can reach speeds of up to 40 kilometers per hour. And by default, the maximum speed I could achieve was around 30 to 32 kilometers per hour, which felt pretty fast by the way. But if you want to unlock the top speed, whip out the manual and you will see a page on how to access a secret menu by holding down the power button and the mode button for a few seconds. And then you'll be able to tweak some hidden settings, which includes units, kilometers or miles, voltage levels, speed limits, which can be increased or decreased to match your country's regulations, or you can max it to the top speed of 40 kilometers per hour. So lots of tweaking options are there for you. And this scooter also promises to give you a pretty decent range of up to 55 kilometers and it takes around 5.5 hours to fully charge the battery. Now this scooter does come very well packaged. It's actually quite a heavy package at just over 20 kgs. Now quick look inside the box, you get a user manual, power supply, and here is a quick close up of the voltage. You're also getting a power cable, a bag containing tools, and also a European plug in case you need it. Now out of the box, the scooter comes folded down. To unfold, simply pull the red nut out. You will then be able to lift the main bar into a vertical position where you will hear it click automatically as it locks itself into place. Now to fold down again, just pull out that same red nut and then carefully fold down the main bar until you hear it click and that is now securely folded, ready to carry around. Um, do bear in mind that this powerful scooter requires some powerful arms as it weighs around 20 kgs, which is not bad considering the size of the unit, the big battery capacity and powerful 750 watt motor. To get started, you're just lifting up both handlebars and then tightening the screw to secure them in place. You then have to move both brake handles to a comfortable position and then lock them both into place with two tiny bolts. Thereafter, just lift the main bar to maximum height and lock it into place with the quick lock connection and you are now ready to rock and roll. The overall build quality is very robust, made from a metal body and board. The board is nice and wide. You have a great looking design, black and red trim, and Furo Systems logo. Uh, this does have underboard red LED lights, along with front and rear LED lights, all controllable from a single button on the handlebar. You've got 10 inch pneumatic tires, so filled with air, with dual suspensions front and back, and even dual mechanical disc brakes front and back. Now charging port is located at the bottom and it takes around 5.5 hours to fully charge the battery, giving you a massive 55 kilometer range. So let's have a quick look at the handlebar controls. You have a digital display showing you your speed, distance, battery information, etc. You've got your dual brake handles, one on each side. Um, you've also got a separate button for your light switch and a loud digital horn. This scooter can handle up to 150 kg of weight. In case you're wondering, I weigh around 87 kgs. So let's begin our speed test and see what this scooter can achieve. So mode one, maximum speed. This is it, 11 kilometers per hour. That's mode one. Now, while it's going, you can just tap mode two and you can see it just boom, accelerates. And this is gonna be as you can see, 
25 kilometers per hour. That's the brake, really good brakes. So 25 kilometers per hour on mode two. I haven't touched mode three yet. You saw it just went to 26. Extremely smooth in operation. All right, we're gonna to switch to mode three now. Mode three, here we, here we go. Bit worried because this is fast. The fastest speed. No helmet on today. And I definitely don't wanna fall. 29. 30. 30, 31. Right, I gotta stop because I ain't going around a bend on 31. So I managed to reach 31. The acceleration is really quick. It's, it's got the speed when you need it. 28, wow, it gets to 30 quite quick. Quickly go around the park. Look at that, easy hill climb, easy. All right, let's see what happens. All I've got to do is stay on the board. 27, it's windy, it's cold. 29, 30. So it seems like we can do 30 kilometers per hour on mode three. That is the maximum speed. I've dropped down to one, just to give myself a bit more control when maneuvering in these small areas. Now I've pumped it up to two. Whoa, you saw what happened there. All right. So two. If I mess up, I'm gonna fall in. So I'm being very cautious in this part, especially because the ground is quite uneven. Too close to that water, <laughs> it felt like. All right, let's go on the grass briefly, see what happens. Not bad. You've got a suspension, so inflatable tires, so it can handle different terrains. It's powerful enough to handle any terrain. I feel most comfortable in mode two, to be honest. Try turning around on the grass on mode three. Let's see what happens. Whoa, this is crazy. And the glass, grass is icy. The grass is frosty ice. So it's more slippery. Oh. So we turned it off, you press the lock button, your scooter is now locked. So if someone comes along, see that? Wow. Real nice acceleration from this unit. Great scooter. Nice big board to stand on. It's just quality. Beautiful day, it's cold, but it's a beautiful day today freezing but I'm having fun so I'm on mode 3 and you can see we're on 30 comfortably 30 kilometers per hour so there you have it guys that was the Furo system fuse max now I'll describe the drive it's powerful smooth and comfortable acceleration is very quick especially in modes 2 and 3 this electric scooter can conquer any terrain I tested, including icy grass. You have front and back suspension, giving you a super smooth drive with minimal impact and bumps felt on your legs. Now remember, I've only tested this scooter in the default top speed of 31 kilometers per hour. I did not get a chance to unlock the maximum 40 kilometers per hour speed when I shot this video. I actually read the manual later, so note to myself, Chigs, read the manual first and maybe you could have enjoyed the top speed it's 799 it's priced quite high end the premium aspect is there 
It's pure quality in build, drive and comfort. You have some great technology including a proper anti-theft alarm which immobilizes the motor once the alarm is active. So basically just like a car alarm. So great overall anti-theft alarm. This has to be the best I have experienced in a scooter so far. So bottom line, if you want something genuinely powerful, but also safe and comfortable to drive, then this is one of the best power scooters I have tested on the channel so far. It doesn't feel dangerous even at top speed. Now 750 watt is more than enough to keep you entertained, but also handling hills and rough roads is easy for this scooter. Now electric scooters are green, good for the environment, a great means of transport. So anyway, bottom line, if you're power hungry, this electric scooter is very satisfying to use. I absolutely love everything about it, but most importantly, the safety aspect is there. I never felt that I'm gonna fall off the scooter at any point, even when riding this at top speeds. That being said, I do owe it to myself to drop a top speed, 40 km per hour speed test, and I will hopefully get a chance to do that soon as the weather gets slightly better. And I'll share it with you guys on the second channel or on my social media. So stay tuned, follow, subscribe. Uh, you guys know what to do. Any questions, do let me know. Hope you found this video useful. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. I'll see you guys in the next one.